Okay, in response to the last video, you saw me eating, you know, three and a half pounds of tomahawk steak. Somebody said, you know, uh, they said, don't you, don't you ever get full eating all that stuff? And how can you eat so much? And so on and so forth. Well, somebody said calories don't matter on a carnivore diet, to which I repl- pro- pro- <laughs> probably replied, wrong. That's, that's, that's just wrong thinking. Now, let me just sort of clarify this a little bit. Um, there are certainly aspects of a carnivore diet to where there may be some advantages. One, profound satiety. So it may seem like you're eating more or you're getting more full because the food is inherently or can be inherently satiating or satiety provoking for many people. So you just feel like you're eating a lot, you're getting full, but you don't, you know, you don't consume quite as many calories. That does happen for a lot of people. We also know that, you know, if I were to eat two pounds of ribeye every day, I would weigh less than if I ate four pounds of ribeye every day. That's clear. There's no, I've done that experiment many, many times. If I want to gain weight, I eat more. The same thing. If I want to lose weight, I eat less of the same thing. There are inherent differences. If I were eating, you know, 2,000 calories of ribeye steak versus 2,000 calories of cake and ice cream, you would probably even see a difference in that. And why, why, why is that? And, and this isn't even controversial. One is the protein content goes up. You know, if you go from standard American diet of 12 to 16 percent protein to a typical carnivore diet for, of 30 plus percent protein, you're going to get some advantage right there. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll amount to a few hundred calories a day, depending on how many calories you eat. So you automatically get some calories uh, that are beneficial. We also see that when you switch over to whole foods, you end up potentially, you know, maybe not absorbing as many calories. And that's, that's, that's sort of uh, interesting, you know, particularly when it comes to hyper-processed food. Remember these hyper-processed food that are turned into powders, flours, cakes, you know, noodles, whatever, they're, they're turned into powders and then reconstituted, are more readily absorbed. They don't require a microbiome. Remember, a microbiome can consume anywhere between and up to about 22% of our calories can be consumed by the microbiome that we don't even get access to. And when we hyper-process the food that gets absorbed before our microbiome even has a chance to uh, get involved in many cases, so you end up absorbing more calories in that regard. We also know that, and this is a very controversial part, is that for some, uh, you know, or for some, some people think this, some people don't, it's very controversial, that consuming less carbs and calories and carbohydrates provides some intrinsic metabolic ben- benefit through either the carb- carbohydrate insulin model, which is hotly contested. Some people think it's bunk. Some people think it's very valid. Uh, so that may be, that may contribute to some variable amount of metabolic advantage, maybe 50 calories a day, maybe up to several hundred calories a day. So certainly by going on a carnivore diet, you set yourself up for a number of advantages, whether it's just satiety, where it's lack of hyper-processed food, which are more easily absorbed versus maybe some advantage uh, by uh, reducing carbohydrates. So there is an advantage there, but if you eat 3000 calories of ribeye, it's going to have a very different effect on you than if you eat 5000 calories in ribeye. And I've done that experiment over and over and over again, as have many other people. So it's not that, you know, there are some people that go to the diet, they think they can eat all the calories they want, and they lose weight and it works. And, and for some of the reasons I've outlined, but to say blanketly calories don't matter on a carnivore diet is just false. And we should stop perpetuating that. It's, it's false thinking. There are many, many advantages of a carnivore diet. And I haven't even touched on some of the health benefits outside of just weight management. But these are things, these sort of misconceptions uh, really sort of detract from, from what we're trying to do here. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you guys. Got to go to jiu We'll talk to you guys soon.